Hello, and welcome to our show, part two of Girl Power. This is for the love of animals. We're doing our second segment about the Girl Scouts and their work with animals in the Paducah area. I'm Darlene Pigford. And I'm Greg Bauer. And we'll tell our viewers of a couple of upcoming shows, one on fostering uh, animals. And uh, I think we'll find that very interesting, talking with creatures great and small. And then also uh, on one on photographing your pets. So I need to learn how to use that digital camera, Greg, <laughs> much, yes, and do. then to learn how to yes, photograph my do, pets. pets I, very I'm not well. going to say anything. No, don't say anything. <laughs> but anyway, um, girl power. That's right, Greg. We this is our second. Uh, part two, or our second part, explaining to the public about the good work that the Girl Scouts here in the Paducah area are doing in earning animal badges and triads. In other words, their work, uh, service work with animals. Well, and it expands just a little bit further than Paducah because our first two guests today uh, from? live in Graves County. That's right. So I should say the Paducah area, well, right? Well, Western Kentucky. Western Kentucky, <laughs> that's right, Greg. And we have, we have two members from Troop 179. Yes. And Greg, do the introductions. I'll be happy to. And to Darlene's right is um, Danny Gardner, and to Danny's right is Elizabeth Travis. So thank you too very much for coming to uh, visit with us this afternoon. You're welcome. You're welcome. Glad you're here. Now we understand you're members of what? Troop 179? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. And you uh, have earned a bronze award. Yes. What is a bronze award and how did you earn it? Um, bronze award is the first award you can get in Girl Scouts. And there's three types, the bronze, the silver, and the gold award. Uh -huh. award. And um, we have earned our bronze award, which is the first one. And uh -huh. do you want to tell how we got it? How'd you get it? Well, another member of our troop, um, she went to visit the animal shelter. Uh -huh. And she got to actually see them perform a surgery. Okay. She said it was really cool, but it wasn't her favorite thing to wouldn't see. Her, wouldn't be my favorite <laughs> thing either. Okay. And then me and Danny, we researched information and we made a brochure to give to younger girls to teach them about animals. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was this about? The care of the animals or what was in the brochure? Like the care of the animals and like, you know, uh, we had the care of the animals, and then we had we put in there an actual oath that all vets have to take, oh. and then um, we put like facts in there about vets and animal caretakers and just animals, okay. just all kinds of things, and it was just really cool and fun to work with. Wow. What, what did what surprised you the most, or what did you learn the most about from the visit to the uh, animal shelter? And this was what Graves County Animal uh, Shelter. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think it was in, in Mayfield. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, we learned. That Are there any surprises? Um. Not really. Kind of. Okay. Just a little. Uh, do you know of any surprises? Well, for one, I didn't know like vets had to take a certain oath. Okay. But that yeah. surprised me because I thought you know they could just. Be a vet. I didn't know you had to take an oath. Oh, well, just like doctors have to take an oath to give you good care, vets would have to take an oath to give animals the best possible care that they they could give them. So, you know, and they have to go to school many years, you know, to be able to do that. So, but you know, you'd want someone to take good care of you if you were sick, right? Yes, very so, much. Very <laughs> much so. <laughs> now you said you got this information about the vets and the care of animals and all, and you presented it what to an uh, to the younger troops, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. And where is this uh, brochure now? Uh, the brochure is with the little girls, and then we have some copies uh -huh. that we have brought. Did you bring me a copy today? Well, we can go out and get one. You can get me one. Okay, because I would like to see that. Okay. So, okay. Now, I've noticed you've got some things on your your belt there. What are those emblems? Um, this symbolizes that, like, we're an American troop. And, right. And this symbolizes that we're um, a Girl Scout troop in Kentucky, not from out of, like, state or anything. Uh-huh. And then this tells us what troop number we are in. I think this tells us how many years we've been in Girl Scouts. So I've got like six, so I've been in it six years. And then this 
uh, symbolizes mm -hmm. that we have gotten our bronze award. That, so that's the bronze award right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And Elizabeth, how long have you been in scouting? Um, I've been in scouting ever since I was a daisy, which would be seven years, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we forgot, what school do you attend? Um, um, we attend Graves County Middle School. Okay. And we're going into the eighth grade. Going into the eighth grade, yeah. right? <laughs> Great. Okay. And both fun. of you are, in, are both of you in the same class? Uh, no, no, we're on different teams. You're on sadly. different teams. Okay. Well, yeah. congratulations on that bronze award. It sounds like that was uh, quite an admirable project that you did. Yeah. <laughs> What's the next award that you're going after? Have you thought about it yet? Uh, we're going after the silver award. Award. <laughs> and do you wrong. know what you're going to? If you thought um, about what you're going to do to earn that? We're well. We know it's. We want it's got to, like be community service, and we were thinking about like, um, like doing something for the environment, like helping like clean. And yeah, pick like, up. like uh -huh. going in the park and clean up the trash. Yeah. And then she mentioned something it had yeah. to deal with in like show. We could have people, like, people could make art out of things they'd normally throw away, which would end up in landfills. Uh -huh. And then um, we'd have an art show, and we could raise oh. money to help, like, like people who need help and uh -huh. who don't have a lot of money. And then we were thinking about using, like, things you would need to recycle and making, like, things like trash cans and donating it to, like, the needy, uh -huh. so they wouldn't have things like trash cans or cupboards and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's Sounds like that's some, some excellent ideas that yes, you have yes. there. Absolutely. So. And d don't forget, you can still do uh, some more work with animals if you like, because oh, they yeah. need you too. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of work would you like to do, maybe as you go further in, in school and maybe um, uh, on You want to be a vet one day? Uh, well, I I love, love, just really love animals, uh -huh. but I don't want to be a vet. Because I don't either. <laughs> I'm not one of those people who can like stand doing surgery and stuff because it'd make me sad if I had to put one of them to sleep and I know. stuff. Yeah. It's not something I can handle. Okay, me too. Me too. Yeah. I understand that. Elizabeth, how about you? Uh, pretty much the same because I love animals and I love taking care of them, but like if I had to perform a surgery or put them to sleep, it just made me really sad. Yes. Well, except that the animal might become much better than because yeah, you might, of that you, surgery. You might save an animal's that's life. That's true, but yeah, that yeah. is very true. <laughs> but but, so but you don't. You, that is not your choice, and yeah. that's okay. Yeah. That's perfectly all right. Yeah. So. I would like to work with animals. I'm just not sure if I want to be a vet. Right. Okay. Yeah, right. work at, like being an animal cleaner or something, like grooming them. And uh -huh. stuff. I think that'd be so awesome and getting to know the animal. It's uh -huh. just so much fun. Yeah. Yes. Well, there are so many things that you could do with animals with, yeah. without having to, to become a vet, but always know that there, a good vet is there in case you need them. That's so. right. That's right. All right. Well, I think it's, it's time for us to take a break, Darlene, And we certainly want to thank these two young ladies yes. for telling us uh, what Daniel. they did with the Bronze Award, and, and we're really proud of you for doing that. We wish you luck in the future. Yes. So. Thank you, Danny and Elizabeth, Elizabeth for thank taking both time of you. with us today, and you can look forward to seeing this uh, on Down Home. Uh, up okay. on the web. <laughs> <laughs> yep. yeah. Well, we need to take a break then, yes, darling. Greg. And uh, we have another happy tale. As many of you know, we do like to do this as a regular feature. This and is a happy story. Yes, this is about a, a greyhound named Myth. <sighs> My name is Myth of Ruckus. But my friends just call me Myth. I am a greyhound and used to race at the track in West Memphis. I didn't know what was to become of me, but then my life changed for the better. Dan and Linda adopted me and I became a member of their family. Because of my lost toe, I have some trouble walking and look like I am about to fall. Dark places scare me because there might be a monster hiding there. I love to be around people and especially little children. I love it when Dan says go or car ride, but it breaks my heart when he says no. Thanks to Dan and Linda, I have a wonderful happy home and I think that I will stay. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that happy tale about myth 
the Greyhound. Um, he's um, one of a number of dogs that have been rescued from uh, uh, their days as racing dogs, and it just makes another wonderful, happy tale. Right, because that is another rescued animal. Exactly, exactly. Well, we're going to continue with our discussion this time with a couple of young ladies from uh, Troop 1304. And on Darlene's right is Kathleen Corrigan. And to Kathleen's right is uh, Hillary McCutcheon. Welcome, Welcome, girls. to both of you. And thank you so much for coming to tell us about your activities and scouting. Well, tell us what you have been, what uh, animal projects that you have been working with. Okay, well, um, my bronze award, it's the first level of the three awards that the Girl Scouts get. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And is, is that I went to um, Bear Creek, actually, okay. and there was the already an animal tracks program there, but it, they tried to start it, but uh -huh. it, it's all weeded and grassy and no, no. Okay. okay. And we relocated it and redid everything, like all the sand, the... Well, now, what is an animal track? What, oh, explain that. Okay. Well, um, there was a, there was four boards, well, probably more than four, I don't okay. really know. It was a square, and um, we put sand in, we put sand all in it, like right. a whole lot of it. Okay. And there was a round stone in the middle. Okay. And every night, well, probably not every night, but some nights you cut up something like an apple or, right, or something. Right, some kind of food. Yeah, and you put it in the middle and the animals have to walk through the sand and get the food and then uh -huh. walk back. And so if there's any tracks in the morning, we would um, get the get plaster out and put it in the tracks uh -huh. or over the tracks and when it dries, animal tracks. Okay, yeah. and then did you identify the animal? Or what do you do with the, the little stone replications? Well, first, before we put the plaster on, we uh -huh. would try to name it. Okay. Try to name the animal and see if we get it right. Okay. And what we did with the plaster is we just, um, I really don't know. What just we, saved it? Yeah. Okay. Well, then and you could show them to show other it, girls. Show it to other yeah. people. Oh, right, yeah. What, yeah. Kind of, um, uh, what kind of an animal was oh, this? Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and so and you redid you know. all this area so you could identify the animals. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. What, what animals did you find? We actually haven't uh, went over there and actually did the animal tracks yet. Oh, oh okay. We're you set it to, up. Yeah. Well, we I said, see. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. All right. And did you help with this project? Um, actually, I got really sick and I couldn't, I wasn't <laughs> able to go outside. I did a different bronze award not related to animals. Mm -hmm. well, okay, well what bronze well, award did you do? Um, I went over at Heartland Worship Center. Uh -huh. They have an axe house there. Um, they had just developed the axe house and they hadn't been able to redevelop their garden up front. It was just all run down, weeded and old trees. Uh -huh. I was able to go over there and completely redo the entire garden. Oh. Wow. Well, that's interesting. I have a backyard that needs to be redoing. <laughs> <laughs> you get Hillary to come over and give us some help. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, th and that was your bronze award. Um, tell us about the, the kind of awards, the bronze award, and then there are other awards that uh, the Girl Scouts can get? Yes. Um, there, uh, you want me? Uh, go ahead again. Go ahead. Um, there's a silver reward, which mm -hmm. takes like two times more hours than okay. what you did in the, in the bronze award. And then uh -huh. there's the gold reward, which you do as a senior or um, what is it called? And, and there's um, Daisy Brownie Junior Cadet Ambassador, isn't it? Ambassador. Uh, is yes. a senior level? Senior Ambassador. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And, and I, you take like a lot of time doing the project. It's, right, right. It's like two days worth of time. Okay, yeah. And, and Go ahead. The gold award is twice as hard. Everything is very hard. Um, I'm not sure what you would do because we haven't actually talked right. about the gold award. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We've talked about the silver award a little bit. But we haven't we haven't talked about the gold award at all. Okay. Well, now getting back to this an animal tracks, you're in the process. You set this up right uh, down at Bear Creek. All right. Now you have to do that during the summertime, wouldn't you? If you're going to check on. When did you do this? Well, we did it a couple months ago in okay. March and April. Okay. 
and uh, okay yeah but but you'd have to travel there uh, yeah right but anyway you set the whole program up so that people could be able to identify the animals yeah and actually okay. use it okay and we had a little help from a man I don't know his name is Larry okay I could not remember what his um, last That's name is to save my life that's okay <laughs> but the funny thing is is that he helped us uh, nail the boards together or screw them in uh -huh. and he dug a, a screw into his nail right there Ooh. and we had just done our first aid award <laughs> and so we actually got to um, practice that on him and it was it was just so funny and so much fun mm -hmm. girl scouting is practical too that's isn't absolutely. it absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And now, so you took care of Larry, right? Yeah. Oh, good for you. We're real proud of you. Now, but where do you two girls go to school? Um, we're going into the sixth grade, and we're going to Heath um, Middle School. Okay, Heath Middle School here in McCracken County. Yeah. yeah. And how long have you been in scouting? Um, this is our sixth, sixth year. year. Sixth it's year. Our sixth year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Looking back over those six years, what was the most fun thing that you did in scouting? Or what did you enjoy? Earning the petals for daisies. That is <laughs> that, that was fun. That was that was that was a blast. It's, yes. And just kind of like learning what a Girl Scout is, getting interested in Girl Scouts. Uh -huh. That was just the best thing mm -hmm. about it all. Oh and great. Doing mm -hmm. our bronze award to see like the thank you and to see people's faces when I did my bronze award at the Axe House. People just came to the Axe House. It, it was kind of like it's kind of like goodwill, isn't it? But you had supper yeah. and you, so you just drop off your clothes for free. And, uh -huh. they, and they set it it's up where it's, there's free. like a girl's room, a boy's room, stuff like that. Uh -huh. And they right. just put clothes. They set it up in a whole awesome way. And people, and like, what is it, once a month? It's, I think oh, it's every, every time. Every once, season, uh -huh. people would once come in and who doesn't, don't have a lot, have get, get the clothes for their family. Uh -huh. And that's every season. And... They actually have they act, they do have a lot of help. They have they have a lot of donations every day, every uh -huh. week. Yes, and the and help that just comes in. I, um, as our troop, we've actually been over there and helped out to see exactly how much work this takes them to do. It's if you it can it can't just be done by one person. It right. has to be done by several people without and people the, working together. Right. Yes, without working together and without volunteers this wouldn't be possible at all. Well that, that's just a wonderful project and we know that the people really appreciate what you're doing for them. So okay well I think it's time we need to uh, take another break and uh, we'd like to thank you Kathleen and Hillary both very much for coming in and sharing your experiences with us today and uh, we Good luck wish with you those animal projects. Yes absolutely <laughs> and, and we hope that you'll go through and and get your other awards, the silver and the gold. And so thanks again thanks so much again for coming. Thanks again for coming. In. You're welcome. We, Will? We want to take a t transition now to remind our viewers. Where they can see this on the web. Absolutely. And that is at www.paducah2.org forward slash video clips forward slash animals. And we have about, a, oh, I think 13 or 14 shows up there at this point, past shows. And this one will be up uh, before too long, and hope that you'll enjoy uh, uh, seeing it up there on the web. Be back in a minute. Welcome back. We're continuing our discussion this afternoon with the Girl Scouts and the work that they're doing with animals. And uh, just a reminder that uh, the show can be seen on the web, and you just saw the web address right. a few minutes ago, so that all all of your friends and everybody all over the world can, can now see the show. So. And Grandma in Baltimore can even <laughs> see uh, their uh, grandchild now, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, we're going to... Uh, T tie the part two together now I think right. this afternoon and we have a couple of the leaders with us uh, today they're obviously very important people absolutely and, and to Darlene's right we have Diana Corrigan Diana. and to her right we have Margaret Gore Margaret Hi. welcome to uh, to the show ladies and thank you so much for coming this afternoon I see you have a brochure in front of you what 
Uh, this is uh, the brochure that my girls put together as part of their bronze uh, award. They uh, handed this out to uh, the younger Girl Scouts in Mayfield and Graves County and they presented a talk on taking care of the animals and then they gave each of the little girls the brochure that tells about uh, what it's like to be a vet and the importance of taking care of animals. And uh, so they did that and uh, Danny and Elizabeth, the two little girls that uh, were here earlier, are the ones that uh, worked on the brochure and Sydney went and did all of the leg, uh, leg work. She went to the vet's office and uh, volunteered with the vet for about two weeks last summer. Wow, okay. okay. That, well, that, that clearly was, was a group project, wasn't it? It was. They were amazed about the oath that the, the, uh, the vets have to take. Yes, they were. It, so. And they, they put that in the brochure because they thought that was so wonderful that he made an oath to promise to take care of the to animals. To take good care of the animals, right. Yeah. And uh, you have some pictures here. I do have some pictures. My girls um, had, did a service project and they went to the McCracken County Humane Society with mm -hmm. another troop. Uh huh. And this was a cadet troop that went with them. Uh huh. And they collected the different cleaning supplies and food supplies that these pets would need. They had a wonderful time, so I wanted to bring those pictures so that you could see them. And they got to meet some of the animals and hang out with the Humane Society a little bit. And they were so excited about going, they want to go back. They want to continue. Oh, really? This. Yes, they want this to be a continuing project in their in their careers as Girl Scouts. So that was exciting that they didn't see this as just a one-time opportunity, but they wanted to continue it on. So yes. well, that we is, plan to do that in the future. That and, is really neat. And we should mention, Diana, that you're working with uh, Troop 1304 mm -hmm. and Margaret with Troop 179. Correct. And our viewers can reference those from earlier parts of the show. But the troops kind of, at, at times, can work, they work together to help each other, right? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. I, I think that's one of the great things that you have going for you uh, as, as Girl Scouts. So. What, what sorts of things do, as leaders now, uh, stepping back and looking at what's going on with the girls, what kinds of things would you like to tell our viewers that you need as leaders and, uh, and things that, uh, that maybe they can help with? Diana? Well, I think, first of all, just a willingness, um, a love of, of children and students, a willingness to help. Mm -hmm. When I came in, I was never a Girl Scout, so I did not have that experience that I could draw from. Okay. And I thought, well, how is that going to make me a good leader? Well, I'd been a Boy Scout leader for six years, yeah. and I hadn't been a Boy Scout, obviously. <laughs> and I thought, well, I'm going to try, I'm going to take that. The team at the office and the support staff um, were, are fabulous and were fabulous at that time. Uh -huh. And just, if I just ask questions, they will give me any kind of an, you know, an answer that, that they can come up with. Uh -huh. They will research it. I think that you don't... I, don't, you don't have to have all the answers when you first walk okay. in the door. Don't expect to have every. Don't expect to, for everything to go perfectly the first time or the tenth time. <laughs> but this is something for them, and it's it's to be a girl-led experience, and just being supportive of them, and helping them find their way. You know, sometimes they have to find the answers on their own. And that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it may not go the way that you think it's going to, or the way that, well, but the book said it didn't matter. It's their experience. Let them do it the way that they need it, with guidance. And you know, we use a Safety Wise book. We have support staff. There are things that are in place to keep them safe. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, you know, we let them try to have their own experience and to learn from it and learn from each other. And it's been, it's been great. I can't wait to go on to my next year. This is going to be great. Well, how many years have you done this now? I have done this for six. Six years. Mm -hmm. Six years yes. with the Girl Scouts and six, six years, years with, with the same the, trip. Yes. With the Boy wow. Scouts. Yes, yes. And I've enjoyed it very much. Oh, it, I, I, I couldn't tell at all. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't tell, Diana. <laughs> Margaret, what would you like to uh, uh, let our viewers uh, know about uh, uh, your I think, work? Uh, the importance uh, of getting more leaders, leaders that are truly dedicated to the little girls, uh, mm -hmm. to uh, letting the little girls grow up to be leaders and and you know they don't have to wait till they're uh, grown to be leaders they can Absolutely. be leaders in their own troop and and they can uh, choose what you know the things that they want to do this uh, I'm starting my 20th year <gasps> oh in Girl heavens. Scouts <laughs> and uh, wow I was my daughter's troop leader and then when she uh, was a junior uh, in uh, a junior in high school she wanted to earn a leadership badge so I took a Daisy troop that she helped me with to earn that badge, and these girls that were here are those Daisies now. They've grown up and they're starting the eighth grade. So, and well, it's, uh, you know, you get to do lots of fun things that, you know, 
you wouldn't get to experience if you were, uh, weren't a Girl Scout leader. Well, if a person's interested in doing this, what's the procedure that they should go about doing to uh, become a uh, more actively involved and become a leader with the Girl Scouts? Okay. Just call the office in Padoka. Okay. <laughs> That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. <laughs> and you don't have to be a troop leader. You can volunteer to be uh, do a special program, like if you were a dog groomer and you wanted to teach girls how to, you know, take care of take the animals, or mm -hmm. if you had you uh, worked with pottery or something like that. And so you don't have to be a full-time troop leader. There are many special projects, projects that you could volunteer to do for the girls. Okay. Well, I'm just impressed with the, the wide spectrum of opportunities, you know, from birds to ecology, uh, to the Humane Society, to, you know, pet care, uh, you know, vet. I'm just mm -hmm. impressed with the wide range of animal projects that these young people have been involved in. And, and they vote on the projects that yes. they... Mm -hmm. That that's what so when you yes. yeah. vote to go to a humane society, yeah. I just think yeah, that yeah. is, you know, I didn't go to a humane society actually visit one until I was almost grandma's age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. So <laughs> I mean, I did not truly understand yeah. what it took to take mm -hmm. care of animals, you know, right. in a humane society. And yeah. and with the number of animals that we have out there today, I know, you know, with overpopulation and everything, and I think it's so important that. Uh, that our young people growing up uh, have a chance to learn and work with animals and to find out the real value of animals because uh, there just are not enough people that really uh, take enough interest, I think, in the animals. And yeah. So what you're doing with the Girl Scouts, I think, really, really is making a very big difference. And we thank you and the Girl Scouts so much for doing that. I think you've done some wonderful projects yes. and many years of service. So, yes. And you know, Greg, it, it says if you want to improve this world, you start in your own backyard, right? Mm -hmm. And you can start uh, by being a Girl Scout or by helping the Girl Scouts. Absolutely. And also the Boy Scouts, yep. equal opportunity. Absolutely. <laughs> there are so many different ways to, to do this. And, yes. And I know that... Um, the, the ladies are helping with the boys and, and the dads are helping with the girls. Yeah, the dads. And that's, that's what I, I really right. like to yeah. see. Thank you so much for coming yeah. and for your contribution yeah. to this program and to what you have done for your troops. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So much Thanks so much for spending some time, Diana and Margaret, with us today. And uh, uh, again, Godspeed and just keep up the good work. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is, Greg, <sighs> where does time go? This was. Part two. I don't know. And you know, we've just scratched the surface <laughs> of what these fine young people and leaders are doing for Girl yes. Scouting in all areas, but on our, you know, for the love of animals. Absolutely. And we are just so proud of them. So, Wicket, wake up. Wake up, Wicket. <laughs> our Show's over, Wicket. Yeah, our resident dog, you can get ready to go home now, Wicket. <laughs> okay. But uh, in closing, we'd like to remind our viewers uh, of our favorite slogan Give your pet a little extra love today and, and every day. day. See you next time. Bye.